Hey guys, today I'm continuing my way through the Lord of Steel album from 2012. Uh, I'm on track number seven, Expendable, so let's get right into it. Pretty short song I only got a minute left expendable um, another track much like blacklist where the bassy production and the mixing actually works to its its advantage this time it kind of gives it that more heavy feel on this track um, loving the riffs loving the guitar the heaviness but the drums are obviously what's standing out the most to me Donnie is just going insane like wow he's gonna be the new Rhino soon <laughs> Uh, he's so good. I like all of his patterns he's doing. And he's switching it up enough to keep it fun. And yeah, just love the heaviness of the track. Chorus is pretty good too. Interesting solo. I'll give it that. Let's keep going. Right, that one was short and sweet you know it just flew right by uh, like I said I like the heaviness the edge the song gives like a lot of these tracks excuse me um, like I said earlier too, the the bassy production actually works to its advantage this time around and yeah I just love the sound of this one um, you don't need to know his name because he's expendable <laughs> he'll be dead anyway um, so interesting stuff uh, great track, honestly. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, the drumming MVP, no doubt. Uh, up next is track number eight, El Gringo, which someone commented that this was used in a movie or something like that. That's pretty interesting. So let's check it out.
going to say, I love the bass lines and everything in this. And again, it doesn't seem to be affected by the production. But right here, it's starting to seep in just a little bit, the, the overpowered bass. But uh, I like the guitars in this one, the triplets, kind of like the galloping guitars in the verse there. Pretty damn good. Or I don't know if I would consider that the verse or not, but maybe the pre-chorus or I don't know. I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure out this track, but I'm enjoying it so far. It has that kind of epic feel to it. cool solo and i like that in the rhythm section behind the solo we usually well this band only has one guitarist right but uh the rhythm line in that it starts off as, ba as basically just bass but in the second half they throw in that the palm muting guitar and i like that and the solo still playing and we got a cool different sounding solo in here too it wasn't just all shredding you know it was more stylistic cool track man i'm digging it See that little like, bell in the background? It makes it feel more epic. interesting lyrics here i like them uh don't look for me in heaven don't look for me in hell it's like he doesn't side with anybody right he won't be in prison you won't take him alive uh i just like all the things like that he's the el gringo he, he, he has no country he, he, he's basically like this drifter that does what he wants it doesn't live by the rules or the laws he makes his own you know very interesting stuff and i like it's very catchy you know the way it's delivered
just gonna fade out like that. Okay, so that was El Gringo by Man of War, track number eight. And wow, I really enjoyed this one. One of the better tracks on the album for me. Uh, production sounded amazing. Like, I didn't have a problem with that at all, really. Um, yeah, everything was just so damn good. I like the outro, how it was like prolonged. And we just got a solo playing over, kind of like the chorus section. And a very melodic solo. I mean, he did some shredding in there, but it was more melodic than anything. And I could have had that playing for days. Uh, the chorus is so catchy. Just a really cool song. I would like to see what movie this was from. Is the movie called El Gringo? Let me know. Um, I, I remember one of my commenters saying that about this song. And yeah, one of the better tracks on this album. I really enjoyed it. But really, there hasn't been a bad track either. So I'm kind of confused on why this is the lowest rated album of theirs on most sites uh, yeah interesting for me to me uh, up next track number nine we got annihilation hopefully i can get through these my uh sinuses start to act up i have allergies you know springtime so of course you may have noticed but i'm trying to get through this <laughs> hopefully they don't get too bad but let's move on to annihilation <laughs> that again from the scream of saying annihilation to the groove in the background so good like the bass groove here on its own it feels kind of punky uh there, there's some punk elements in here too but it doesn't last very long but yeah this whole song man it's just so groovy it's groovy it's catchy it's obviously not very long we only got like a minute left but yeah 
another track uh, that I'm falling in love with. Wow. Blacklist was my big standout on the first half of the album, but the songs were all pretty good. But on this half, it's harder to choose which I prefer because they're all so damn good. better way to end it than with that annihilation scream and i love the double foot pedals and everything going off in the finale there it was awesome near the end of the track uh we got multiple solos and he went all out this time with the solos he was playing like a madman another freaking amazing track man why aren't you guys mentioning these tracks <laughs> i freaking love it uh awesome for track number nine the second half is really good <laughs> 